Outlander Season 4 Spoilers, who is Morag Gunn McKenzie? Elysia Welch may be Morag McKenzie in Outlander Season 4. With that in mind, it's time to delve into the character to see what we can expect. Stars has been extremely quiet on a lot of the casting for Outlander Season 4. After spotting that Elysia Welch's IMDb page shows her listed as Morag in the fourth season, we can only assume that means Morag Gunn McKenzie. I kept the details of Morag as spoiler-free as possible, opting for more teases than anything else. As promised, this is a post that delves into more of who she is and why she will be so important in the fourth season of the show. Of course, this is full of spoilers from Drums of Autumn. It will only be that novel, leaving future seasons and novels with a question mark for those who only read the book the season is on. But, as a tease, Morag is in the Fiery Cross too. Morag is connected to Roger Wakefield Mackenzie. If you wondered whether the surname was a giveaway as to how she's connected to Roger, you will be like. She is the wife of William Buckley Mackenzie and mother of Jeremiah Buckley Mackenzie, both of whom are direct ancestors of Roger. Put more clearly, Morag is Roger's four times great grandmother thanks to her shotgun marriage to William. The only reason the two married was because she was pregnant with his child. She never did love him. Roger also has another connection. It's because of Roger that this Mackenzie line is saved. They are both sailing to the colonies on the Gloriana in 1769 when there's a smallpox outbreak. The crew throws the children with pox overboard and that just so happens to potentially include Jeremiah. It's Roger who finds Morag and William with their infant son. After a plea from William, Roger chooses not to turn them in. It's a good job, too. At this point, he had no idea he was directly descended from them. Morag in Outlander Season 4 At the moment, it looks like Morag will be in two episodes of the season. This suggests that Roger will be on the ship to the colonies for two episodes. Of course, we don't know how much of those two episodes will be focused on the journey across the water. Roger may find Morag and her family at the end of the seventh episode and then deal with the situation in the eighth. This is presuming IMDb is right, of course. The characters will have more of an influence over Roger's life in the future, but this will likely be kept for Outlander Season 5 unless there are a lot of changes. What are you looking forward to seeing in Outlander Season 4? Have I missed something important out in this quick recap of the character? Share your thoughts in the comments below.